<laughs> so I'm just casually flying a crocodile around in Wobbly Life. This is like the strangest thing I've ever seen. Additionally, I have the option to put the gears down. You can hear them going down, but there's no gears. Uh, something strange is going on here, guys. <laughs> Let me show you what's up. Now, I'm going to show you guys how I made a flying crocodile. So, using an app called Azimods, which looks like this, I'm going to search for a mod called a vehicle spawner, which is this one, and I'm going to spawn myself a fighter jet. There's the first component of this, which is the fighter jet. Now, the next part of this, we're going to go into the spawner tab. We can spawn a bunch of props in here. So, I'm going to search for crocodile. There's a floaty crocodile here. Boom, I spawned it. Okay, got myself a floaty crocodile. Now, the next component we're going to grab is custom items. And we're going to give myself a fizz gun. Fizz gun basically lets me grab something like this. I can move it around, freeze it in place, whatever I want. So I'm just going to quickly freeze the fighter jet in place like this. I'm going to quickly grab the floating crocodile as well. And I can rotate this and I can freeze it wherever I want. Fantastic. So... Let's move the floating crocodile roughly into the driver's seat, more or less. Cool. So if you can imagine if I was sitting in that seat, it would kind of look like I'm sitting on the crocodile. Fantastic. Now, let's come back into Azimods. There's a bunch of tools here we can use. One of them is the welder. Now, if we come in here, we're going to right click onto the jet. And we're going to make sure we're looking at a part of the crocodile which is still visible, like the leg, and we're going to left click on it. Now those two things should be attached together. If we give ourselves a fizz gun again, we can click on the crocodile to unfreeze it. And we're going to click on the fighter jet. And now you can see as I move the fighter jet around and even rotate it, the crocodile is basically attached to it. Well, it is attached to it. Cool. I'm going to make sure it's not in the ground. If it is stuck in the ground, then it's going to essentially explode as soon as we get into it. So make sure it's not in the ground. Fantastic. Now, back in Azimods, we want to give ourselves this tool, Make Invisible. This is a very, very cool tool. All right. So if I left click on something, boom, it goes invisible. If I right click, visible again. So I can do that as much as I want. But obviously, we want it to be invisible. Last but not least, I don't really want the annoying hints on the left hand side, so we're going to go uh, drop all items and then we can hide Azimods again. Fantastic. Alright, that leaves us with one more thing to do, which is to test out our flying crocodile. See if we can find the seat. There it is. Jump in and uh, let's go! Away we go with our flying crocodile! <laughs> oh man, it's going sideways. This is a bit weird. I can put the gears up. Okay, kind of useless. <laughs> oh, this just looks absolutely ridiculous. Oh, man. Oh, no, I've lost control. Oh, I guess we have to build it again. I guess for now, we'll leave it there, guys. But why don't you guys leave a comment for me and let me know what kind of custom vehicles you build with this and what you do with the ability to weld props to your vehicles. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode.